These fancy pants seats are all well and good until they're not. Push button plug indeed. Well, this one's busted. So I'm going to show you how to fix one of the fancy push button plugs pretty easily. Look at this guy, right? This is what I can see down there. Well, I can't see the mechanism. It's a little brass doodle Push down and it locks in. Push again and up it comes. That's as simple as it is. There's a spring inside here and this piece slides within itself. If you get it a bit dirty and a bit mucked up, which can happen pretty easily in a bathroom sink, well, it gets stuck and it doesn't work. So the idea is to take off the top like that and then grab this thing. You can see it's got a little flat edge on it, right? And that you need to turn so you can actually turn this whole unit out, get it out of the plug hole and give it a clean or replace it. Because the plug's stuck, the first thing you want to do is push it up from underneath. To do that, you need to take out part of the S-bend on your sink. Yeah. Uh. Oh, that's disgusting. All right. Grab yourself a mini screwdriver and a hammer. Get in from underneath. It's not for the faint-hearted. Look at this stuff. Oh, you might want plastic gloves for this. Screwdriver goes right in underneath the actual plug. So you're right up under the sink here and then... Oh, there he goes. Open. Take the top off the plug and then use vice grips to undo the piston. Anti-clockwise. Oh, that is gross. Awesome. Hey? Eight-year-old daughter. Or maybe it's mine. At this point, you've got two choices. You can take the old piston up to the plumbing suppliers and replace it with a new one, right? Goes straight in, pretty simple. Costs around $20, fairly inexpensive. Or you can take the old one and try and clean it up. I'm using a water displacement spray. This stuff is more versatile than duct tape. You might find you can get this Pretty clean enough without taking everything apart. As soon as you start taking screws off, or well, there's a spring in there, and you want to make sure things go back the same way they did come apart. Well, that is working a treat. Just save 20 bucks. Don't need the new one. Bit of toilet paper around the screwdriver is a good little cleaning tool, actually. Down the sink. Let's just clear that out a bit. Tell you what. No wonder plumbers charge so much. Once you're all cleaned up and you're happy with the mechanism working again, well, you stick it back in. Screw it in by hand. Too easy. Then tighten up with the vice grips. And bung the lid back on. If you reckon you could fix a fancy plug, then give this video a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. But subscribe for regular maintenance tips to use around your place.